Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. So this is a different video from what I normally do, but this little $9 part cost me a lot of money. This hot point freezer, this is the starter relay for the compressor on this freezer. This freezer is about two years old. This starter relay died a few days ago. My wife called me at work and said, hey, the freezer died. It was full of all of our vegetables for the winter, a lot of meat, uh, a lot of fish. All of our vegetables that we had frozen to get through the winter from our garden were in there. Everything had to be thrown out for a $9 part. It's a simple repair. I'll show you how to repair it, how to replace it, and how to determine that it is the starter relay. So I'll show you down here inside the freezer chest and what I did and how to replace this. All right, here's the access panel to the compressor where the uh, relay switch is, relay starter. Um, I've already taken that off. That's pretty simple. I think anybody can figure that out, so I'm not going to waste my time or your time showing you that. It's just it's a panel here, there's a screw there, one over there. I think that's it. Take those two Phillips head screws off or out, and then the panel will come out. Um, you'll see the thermostat control here. I took that out for one reason, which I'll get to. You don't really need to do it, but I'll show you what I did. <clears throat> All right, so I got the freezer unplugged. So now we have to pull this starter relay out and put the new one in. It's a pretty simple process. You want to get this white wire off. That one might be a little difficult. The black one should slide right off. The starter relay sits on three prongs. You want to pry this off those three prongs, but you want to do it carefully, uh, not so you don't break anything. Now, this black case here covers that starter relay, and that can be a little difficult to, to take off. There are two tabs, this one here and another one on the other side, right there, and they hook onto this little tab here and one on the other side. And it, it, it's some stiff plastic, and it may be a little difficult to get off. So what I did is I went through here, through the thermostat uh, door here, took a long screwdriver and put it inside the uh, slot right here and pry it on the tab. Um, it popped off eventually. It does give a little bit of a struggle, but it did pop off. So, And then what I did is I took a picture of everything set up so I would not forget how to put it back together. So before we get into taking this apart, I'll show you what happens. I've already bought the new part. I put it on and tested it. It's working. So I put the old one back into place. Um, so you can see what's happening. Um, so I'll start it in a minute. You'll hear it hum and then click. It keeps cycling through. That tells you that the, the starter relay is not engaging. So I'll plug it back in and then we'll listen to it. All right, I'm going to try to do this quickly. Um, is it'll click probably immediately after I plug it in. So let's listen. So you hear it humming. And that click. And it'll do it again in a few seconds. I'm not going to wait. It's probably going to be 20 or 30 seconds, but it'll, it'll hum again and then click. So from I from what I know, when it clicks like that, it's it's not engaging. It's it's not. It just clicked again. It's humming, and it's shut off. All right. So once the cover's off, you take a picture of your setup here. You can pry this. You can try to get these wires off ahead of time, but I think it's a little easier once the uh, starter relays out of the. 
compartment here. It's kind of hard to do it one hand and one handed and trying to hold the camera at the same time. But let's pry on this back and forth. It should pop off. There we go. So there are the three holes. And there are the three prongs. Right there. So now with the relay out, you can pull this that wire off and All right, let's see if I can do this without the camera. Okay, that came off. And now, I'll put the new one on. Wire goes there. Wire goes there. And put this back on the three prongs. Let's wiggle it on carefully. Now, that's back on. Let's plug it in. All right. I don't know if you can hear it. But it's definitely running. Uh, let's see if we can get this cover back on. The wires run through it. There's a little plastic boot or rubber boot or something here. Got to get the wires back out through that. I just want to be really careful not to break anything. Obviously. There. Popped in. All right. And then all that's left is putting the... Uh, thermostat piece back in and that's nothing but a, some plastic clips have to pop into place and put the cover back on that's it I'm not gonna bother doing that in the video that's again like taking it off it's really simple And there it is. Voila. Now what I want to do is I really don't want to lose a freezer full of food again. Especially all the food that took us all summer to grow. All those vegetables. Um, we had saved a lot, frozen it for for the winter. And that's all gone. And that's irreplaceable until at least next summer. Um, so what I want to do is install some kind of light, if I can do it, install some kind of light or alarm on this. So if it does die again, we'll know immediately and we can save whatever's in the freezer and fix it right away. So I hope this helps. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if, it's, if this helps you. And thanks for watching.